What's going on YouTube? So today's video, we're gonna be installing the RPM blow off valve kit. This is going on my 2023 Can-Am X3. I got it in red. This is the hot side, cold side piping, blow off valve, filter, X springs, hose for, I'm pretty sure, the relief of pressure. It's a cap if you're not running it. Some extra hardware, I'm pretty sure, for the blow off valve and all the clamps you see on this kit. So, what we gotta do is, as you can see right here, that's the, the cold side piping that has to get removed. And there's one right, right behind there somewhere. This is the hot side. This is the intercooler. And if you're coming around, to this side I can't really see underneath hold on so inside there you can see where the hot side pipe is that long pipe right there has to get moved here over here by the throttle body Somewhere over there, right above it. But right now, it's hard to get to. So what I'm gonna do is remove the uh, intake for the for the belt. I'm gonna take off that one, that one. Probably take off the catch can, and then um, start disassembly. All right, so what I did so far was remove that snorkel right over there. I removed that uh, vent right there, as you can see, what I removed, but now I have a whole bunch of access to the, the throttle body right over here and the hose that goes all the way across. You're supposed to remove the zip ties, take it out of the clamp and start undoing that uh, hot side or no, that's the cold side. And I have access right up there to the other pipe, but I'm gonna take that one off from the cab possibly. So let's get started and get and remove all these pipes. All I'm using right now is a stubby ratchet with a seven millimeter socket. loose now I'm gonna just undo those couple of zip ties over there all right so I undid the zip ties and I got these holes loosened up right over here but in order to take this apart there's a torx bit right over there that I gotta undo and it'll flop open and this will free up the charge pipe so let me get that done once you get that torx bit out you can see that the hose is free this is the clamp Torx bit. It's clamped down on the bottom right over here, so take that off and it'll just flop right out. Now we got to take off that hose clamp right over there. All right. So just sneaking up from right behind, you have access to it. Once you do this clamp, this whole hose should come off and then you can reinstall the uh, your new RPM hose. Alright, 
Now we're gonna go into the cab and we're gonna start taking off that hose and the one that goes up to the air cooler. All right, loosened up this clamp right over here. Uh, one thing I didn't say is that I took this paintbrush and then I just sanded it off all the sand. As you can see, there's a lot of sand everywhere because I go to Glamis, so I would dust everything off and then um, before you start reassembling or taking any of this stuff off. Now working on the other side. I think this one's gonna be a little pain. I gotta get all the way in there. Also, if you have one of these, it definitely help out. So let me see if I can get a good angle for you guys. So if you snake this back behind, you can sort of see the clamp. There you go, now it's loose. Now I'm gonna remove all the pipes and then I'll get the uh, new ones ready to go in. All right, got both of them out. I got both of them out, out of the driver's side. Uh, this was pretty easy and this was even easier. All I did was just grab it from this side and then this is on the turbo side. All I did was just unloosen this and pull it straight out. This one, all I did was just pull it down and just slid it all the way out. Pretty simple. But now let's try to snake that one in first and then uh, put that one in second. One thing to note on this, you gotta get the pipe uh, clamps correct. These are your intercooler pipes. And then this is your throttle body clamp. Go on the website, you'll see it, what they're talking about. Charge pipes tightened up. Now I'm just gonna install the blow off valve.
here. That's pretty much the entire install. Tighten down the throttle body clamp. Put the one up top over there. There. Did the blow off valve. Tighten that up. Put a zip tie just in case. And then uh, tighten that one down. So what I'm gonna do right now is just put everything back together probably clean up all these hoses so they're not dangling and then I'll do a sound clip. All right, buttoned everything up. Now I'm about to start it. because of the medium spring and the net that I have the outer wear is covered I have on the filter but I mean I'll have to find out what I'm actually uh, uh, ripping it down in the, in the dunes all right you guys can really hear it whenever I'm giving it some, uh, some gas I don't know if you guys heard that So these are the parts that I didn't use right over here. This clamp, obviously the OEM clamps right here. Different springs. I didn't need the cap because I put the blow off valve and I'm pretty sure these are the O-rings for the blow off valve. And then your OEM hoses. But you can hear it more whenever you're actually on throttle, um, not just revving it up. So uh, overall install, was uh pretty easy you just got to get rid of some of the interference but um you tell me what do you guys think but if you have any questions let me know uh please like comment and subscribe thanks